Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The 7 star terror raid event for Iron Bundle is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this brand new event as well as the best Pokemon to solo with in your game. So running for a very limited time only, we're going to have access to a brand new 7 star terror raid and it will be featuring the Paradox Pokemon Iron Bundle. The event itself will be running, like I say, for a very short period over just this weekend. It won't be returning. So running from the 22nd to the 24th of December. So make sure if you do want to grab this Pokemon to take advantage of this event while it's running, it will have the mightiest mark as always, level 100, and it will be the Ice Terror Typing. We'll have the Quark Drive ability and move set. We'll have Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Chilling Water, Snowscape, Auroraville, and Electric Terrain. And it will have a modest nature. No held item, and it will only be catchable once per save file, as per normal with the seven star terror raids. Then the item drops, as usual, are pretty good for this one. You're gonna get ability patches, you're gonna get TMs and the ice terror shards, as well as a lot of candies and calciums, as well as on the second runs, you're gonna get a lot of the high cost items that you can sell for a decent amount of money. Added on to this event over the weekend, we're also gonna be getting five star raids for Blissey appearing in the Paldea region. So these are going to be just raids that you can go into to farm Terra Shards. We've had the Blissey raids in the past, but they will be returning for this weekend as well. So you're going to be able to get an array of Blisseys, all level 75, all five star, nothing to worry about. Very easy to farm, especially for Terra Shards if they're something that you want to farm for in the game, as well as large and XL candies and rare candies as well. So it's a really good event overall with the brand new seven star Terra Raid for Iron Bundle and then the Blissies join in the pack along with that to take advantage of, to just stock up on things like Terra Shots, things like Candies over this weekend. Now to access this event in your game, you're gonna need to connect to the internet, then come down to your Poker Portal and then come to Get Poker Portal News. Once you do this, you'll update all of the Terror Dens in Paldea. Just bear in mind, this event is only appearing in Paldea. It won't be appearing in Kitakami or in the Terrarium in the Indigo Disc. So you're only going to find the seven star raid in Paldea. Now, when you've done this update, come to your map and you'll be able to locate the terror raid den and head over to it. So the build that we'll be featuring in today's video is going to be Hariyama. As always, the build will be down in the description below if you'd like to take a closer look at it after the video to build it for yourself in game. Hariyama going to have the fighting terror type attached to it, going to have the covert cloak. That's a really important item here, I feel for it because the Iron Bundle is going to fire off blizzards constantly and freeze dries and you don't want to get yourself frozen throughout this battle. So the Covered Cloak just prevents you from being frozen because it's a secondary effect on those attacks. So it just prevents those. Is level 100, Hyper Train, so all its IVs are set to 31. And a move set of Sunny Day, Belly Drum, Brick Break and Drain Punch with the ability Thick Fat. That is going to be the big important one. As you can see, it halves the damage from any ice and ice fire type attacks so primarily the ice type attacks that are coming out from the iron bundle they'll be reduced they'll be cut in half and also with the sunny day as well in effect you're going to be taking away that 100 accurate blizzard from the snowscape that the iron bundle sets up and you're also going to be weakening things like the hydro pump that would otherwise hit you for very big damage which your thick fat doesn't protect you against the ev spread that we've got for the hariyama is going to be 252 in hp and 252 in special defense with four in attack and an adamant nature. Again, the build is down in the description if you wanna take a closer look at it, but we'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you exactly what you need to do with this Hariyama to consistently beat this Iron Bundle or just grab it the once in your game over this weekend. Okay, when you come firstly into the raid on turn zero, the Iron Bundle is going to set up a Snowscape and also an Aurora via The Snowscape gives a 50% boost to the defense stat of Ice Pokemon. And then on top of that, it's going to give itself an Aurora Veil boost, which is essentially like a Reflect and a Light Screen on top of that. So firstly, we're going to try and mitigate that by getting a Sunny Day up. The next turn we're going to jump straight in and go for a belly drum because we're in a position where we're going to be able to soak up a lot of the big attacks that come out from the iron bundle and now we're going to go for the drain punch just to get some health back before the iron bundle sets the shield up now this next turn we're going to go for a brick break get rid of that aurora veil that it's got access to so you do see a blizzard fired off here but we'll be able to take this pretty comfortably like i say you know Look at the damage that it's doing. It's not doing a heck of a lot of damage. We are going to see the Iron Bundle nullify the stats on our side of the field. So essentially getting rid of that Belly Drum boost from our side of the field for this next turn. 
and we're also going to see it set up an electric terrain that will activate its hawk drive ability and give it a special attack and boost so it's going to be hitting harder for this next turn uh, we'll lock in with a drain punch this next turn just to chip away that terrestrialization counter going to take a lot more damage from the freeze drive but again still not a huge amount even with that quark driver boost i think what we'll do is we'll set the sunny day up before we do terrestrialize it might be worth just holding off seeing what position you're in before you terrestrialize how healthy you are because you don't want to be in a position where terrestrialize and get knocked out right so we can comfortably terrestrialize and also get some health back as well like i say one of the things that you're going to want to do throughout this raid is make sure that you're keeping an eye on the weather because the iron bundle will set up the snowscape again as soon as it does that you kind of want to revert to setting the sunny day back up overriding that and then also keep an eye on that electric train as soon as it's worn off you're going to be kind of free if you're healthy enough to go for a belly drum and that will really speed up closing this raid out with hariyama I think it's just a very consistent build to be honest you can see the damage that it's taken from this very powerful iron bundle um and it really is able to just stand up against it and just dish out the damage back and chip away at it whereas some of the other pokemon some other builds do struggle against the damage output that the, the iron bundle can do the snowscape coming out here again from the iron bundle so we want to straight away override that with our sunny day just to put ourselves in a, a, a way better position don't be scared if you're really low health at times where you think i might get knocked out the next turn after you've terrestrialized to just go for a heal chair utilize the tools that you've got available to you and then just make sure you're in a healthy position to go forward and don't commit to the belly drum unless you're really confident that you're in a position where you're going to be able to get the belly drum off and then take an attack the next turn. So that's the big, big bit of advice, I think, if you are using the belly drum. But once you knock out the shield, once you break the shield, so we'll break the shield here, you will get a free turn. So if we're healthy enough, you can go for that belly drum and then go for the drain punch to kind of close the matchup very quickly after that. So there's the shield broken. We'll go for that belly drum now because this will be a free turn. And we're going to be in a position where we can take any attack the next turn from the iron bundle the electric terrain's not on the field and this will just make sure that we are able to just speed up the end of this raid a lot easier so blizzard coming out it does hit we are able to take that and we are going to be able to get all that health back with the drain punch and um like I say, I think two more drain punches should be able to close this one out it's not going to be a fast raid at all it doesn't feel like it's going to be one of those raids where it's going to be you're able to run through it very quickly, but consistently you can run through it pretty well and you're going to be able to beat it with the Hariyama no matter what you do uh, against this Iron Bundle. It just doesn't feel like one of those raids with the defensive bulk that it has, the speed that it has at the start of the battle, the RNG that's involved with this raid. It doesn't feel like it's going to be the fastest of raids to be able to do. Drops for this are actually really good as well. When I first did it, I got two ability patches. So it's a, it's a good drop that you're going to be able to get consistently, probably when you're doing this for the item drops, because the item drops are always something to kind of take advantage of with these seven star raids. But as you can see here, just bottle caps, lodge and XL candies and all the other good high cost items that you can get pretty good for running through and farming these raids. So that is the... Hariyama, the thick fat Hariyama who can just stand the test of time against Iron Bundle. And if you are wanting to farm this raid while it is running for this very limited period of time, of course, when you've beat the raid, there'll only be one seven star raid appearing on your map and it will only appear in Paldea, like we've already mentioned. So to change the dens, what you're going to need to do is just come into your home menu, down into system setting, down into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off. Click into your date and time, toggle through, don't change anything, hit OK. Then hit your home menu back into the game and all of your dens will respawn as well as the seven star raid den which you'll be able to find somewhere on the Paldea map and like I say if you do want to farm this you can just do this method over and over again after you beat the raid and continually reap the rewards from the item drops that you're going to get from this seven star terror raid event this weekend that is everything for today's video i hope you have a lot of fun with this iron bundle seven star terror raid event over the weekend do try and grab it if you can in your game because it is a very short period of time that it's running have a great rest of your day i hope you found today's video useful if you have do drop a like and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scholar and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye